remember this article. I'm a single mother. Want to give me a hand with the groceries? This was probably one of the funniest ones. It was from last week. Okay. But this basic, this mother, she did this whole article about how she's a mother and she's, or she's like a, a mother. So she chose to raise a kid alone. Yeah. And then what happened was her, no one will give her a hand with the groceries. So she thinks that we need to change society to do communal parenting. And it was just like, <laughs> the what? whole. Each week, despite knowing that I'm a solo mother, by choice, with a donor-conceived son and no partner at home. So just a woman that decided to go, like, just have a kid with no partner, which is fucking oh, yeah, yeah. wacky. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's like the, where, you know, you're like, men are trash. I'm just going to, like, go get a sperm. Fucking wackiness. Yeah. She goes, my neighbor watches me teeter inside a leaning tower of motherhood with hefty bags and a yelling child attached to my shins. I smile and say hello, but my mind is a static of expletives like why doesn't he offer to fucking help so she's being like she's like why doesn't the the world sort of uh pool together and like uh subsidize me like a man sure well i mean i think it's partially because the internet has kind of villainized men who try and help women you don't want to help you want to mind your own fucking business you know what i mean they don't need no help yeah you mind your everyone knows that you mind your business right now it's not a culture of helping i'm sure that some places some people still help i I would yeah small small towns you know what i would offer a woman like help like into her car or something like that but in her home like i think if you were walking to your like door i'm like i don't want to get i i I would feel like that would make them uncomfortable it would only be like like a woman who is clear i have like no sexual compatibility with also i'd want it to be public like you yeah, know what i mean like sure. kind of like walking her into like her home and i don't know her like that would be like i would never propose that shit you are yeah. you crazy yeah like where i'm bringing groceries from like her car into her like house that's just sure, like, for like some yeah. that's just like creepy. it would have to be like a grandma or something some really old where you go like look there's nothing funny business going on here yeah, but like I feel like even most girls would be like, I'd rather you didn't like come into my house. Like, yeah, this is creepy, know. and you're like, I'm just trying I mean, to help. That's why I don't fucking help chicks with shit. Don't check help chicks with shit. It's not entirely my neighbor's fault. I could ask him to help, but I don't. So yeah, definitely. What's stopping me? I consciously chose this solo path, of course, and. Uh, that said, I know plenty of mothers with partners, multiple jobs, who also need an extra set of hands. I'm part of a movement that's trying to reclaim a village model of parenting. So maybe <laughs> her whole thing is... She wants... <laughs> well, she's like, yeah, because I, I'm a single mother with a kid. We should Let's have... Let's change parenting. Yeah, she goes, where everyone basically comes together in village. It was just like the most, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, again... If go, you, yeah, that'd be better for you. You're right. Yeah, and it would be like that if you want to go live in, like, a small town. Yeah, yeah, like, go, like, that probably is how it is. And if you go live in a tiny little place, like, yeah, you probably can actually. But it's like, yeah, you yeah. want to live in a city. It's like, yeah, no one's parenting. Good, good luck with that in like New York City or fucking Chicago. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? That is so like the most girl thing ever to be like, the world should like, you're like, hey, everyone tells you the world's a certain way. And then you go, I don't care. I'm going to have a kid myself. And everyone's like, that's probably going to be hard. And you go, I don't need a partner. I'm going to do it myself. And they go, okay, you're like allowed to, but it's probably not the recommended. And then she goes, this sucks. They need to change the whole (laughs) world. The whole system of rearing children. The whole system of rearing children should all change to suit what is actually an abnormal case. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, again, she could, I guess she could hire like a guy off of Jiffy for like the, the, Literally, but it's for, like, like the boyfriend experience. Well, off of Jeffy, you essentially need minus the she sex. needs a boyfriend experience, no sex. Yeah. yeah, but but the girlfriend experience that's probably a job. Pros- prostitute has well, it's a handyman. Yeah, they just she's a handyman, but she needs like a handyman, handyman like many hours a day. Yeah, not a hand- we're. Do you think that would be you being like I'm a handyman, and then she's like, oh, and you go, I'm yes, I'm handicapped. I'm a handicapped <laughs> man. <laughs> that's funny describe <laughs> no you you're a friend of yours like a girl like you set a girl up with a, on a date with a guy and you just <laughs> i honestly think that that may have been a sketch from in living color because there was the character handyman oh yeah you remember that and i think there was like they set him up oh my god yeah you go <laughs> I, I i don't know in living color that well to be honest you don't remember him no Daniel? i know yeah, in yeah. living color but i to be honest like handyman for example i saw that like years after oh, okay like i don't actually know in living color that well i was like a that just wasn't like big for me that show 
But yeah, the idea of me telling a girl, you're like, yeah, I want you, my, my friend of mine, he's like really nice guy. Like a lot of, he's uh, kind of above average strength. He's like, sort of like a, he's like a handyman. And then he shows up and it's just like straight up a guy with Down syndrome. Goes, okay. She'd almost have to go through with it. It would almost be like the best prank. It'd be funny if you had like a friend that had Down syndrome that was like, kind of like chill and funny like we're like yeah, yeah, yeah. let's like have this let's have some fun with it yeah and we like and then we see see how far the girl does it <laughs> just to see how, far, am, how much we can make her i'm here for the blind date <laughs> and then she goes um you and then he's just like at the time you just like break something <laughs> do you want to go I, I can't drive i'm not allowed to drive i'm not legally not allowed i'm not allowed to drive poor, can you drive my vision's too poor <laughs> Setting someone up on a date with someone down is <laughs> funny would fucking be, shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know uh, <laughs> if it's illegal. I'm part of women. The goal isn't of a single parent is not to raise our children alone. The goal is to consciously create the village in which we and our children will thrive. <laughs> like, you know, you know, you're literally writing an article saying that like the society needs to change to be better to like mothers who chose surrogates. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, again, I get that whole like it takes a village to raise a child, like old school thinking kind of thing. But you're like, yeah, then go live in a village. Yeah, go yeah. live in a village. Exactly, and they probably do that still. Literally, you chose to live in a fucking city. But you literally do kind of have the same thing because like you do kind of get money from the government for having kids. Like there, yeah, they is like there is some element of that. Like if you get an extra thousand bucks a month for having a kid or whatever it's like okay well then go hire someone for a thousand bucks a month to do some shit for you yeah like you can that's, that's you know true. yeah i don't know the degree to which basically you, the you girl's get, solution like if you're for a working, lot of things is communist it. yeah if you're working though i don't know the degree to which you get any money from the government for kids i think that's like a, if you're no um, purely my, i mean i'll tell you what in canada my mom would get baby bonuses and when, when you have a baby or is it like no, I know they like, have like how they no daycare. like every year like you. But get, it's a tax credit. It's a tax credit, yeah. yeah, yeah tax but credit, it, but yeah. you still like get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying for yeah, yeah exactly. You got yeah. So you get it. tax credits for having a kid. Yeah, yeah. Like they, I think those are just daycare, like daycare things and stuff. That, okay, sure. Yeah. But yeah, you get money. So back. then hire someone to help you with it, and there's that's like literally what's happening. Yeah, like that's you have an extra villager. An extra villager, yeah. Right. Yeah. Danny wants to raise a fucking baby with a village people style where it's him and his gay lovers. And all. Five gay men. Five gay men. That, how do you think to, uh, a sitcom has that? It's like five gay men living in the house raising a baby. It's like basically full house, but it's Well, remember all gay they had men. three men and a baby was a popular franchise, but they weren't gay. They weren't all gay. They None to, of them were gay. I think they were just friends. Yeah, which they need to do three men and a baby, but they're all like gay men. Sure, sure. Which is surprising they haven't done that. Or in your case, four men and a baby. They're 